few activities to reinforce those animales del zoológico. For the first two activities, you're gonna need cards of the animals. So how do we make cards? Go to our website, go to the vocabulary part of the website, click in zoo, and then you're gonna see all the animals in there. Go to PDF and print it out. Then cut them out. You can have your child, if you're at home doing homeschool, you can have your child make the cards on their own, or you can make them your own if you're in the classroom and you just wanna play the activity. But once you have the cards with all of the animals of the zoo, the kids are gonna play this game all together. So you're gonna call out one friend, give him all the cards, have the friend pick one card, and then with that one card, the friend gets to, one, describe the animal using colors and opposite words. For example, if the animal is un elefante, he gets to say gris y grande and then wait until someone raises their hand and then if they guess it, they get to come and do the same. Pick a different card and then describe it. Now, make sure that what the cards that they play with are not put back in the group of cards. In that way, the end of the game is when all of the cards have been played with. Okay, they can do that or they can uh, do the motion of each of the animals. So again, if the friend chooses elefante, they will have to go and this is too easy. So whoever says elefante gets to come to the front and do the same. Second game will be exactly the same activity, but just divide the group of friends that you have in two groups and have them watch each other play the game. So let's say group A is playing, group B is watching and does not get to answer or does not get to guess. Group A is playing, and let's say for some reason, someone in group A has no idea of the answer of the animal. They don't know what animal is it. So then someone from group B can guess it. Only then they can guess it. And if they do say it right, they get a point. Okay, so they take their turns, and I forgot, but you split the cards in between the two groups. So you don't have to have two sets, just one set divided in both of the groups. Okay, so this group gets to do the same, and then at the end, when you get one of the groups gets rid of the cards first, then that's the end of the game, and whoever has the most points, those friends win. Now, at the end, whoever wins, it does not matter, but they're gonna celebrate it, which is okay, you know, that's life. And then what's the, the best part will be for both of the teams to come together and say, buen juego, buen juego, buen juego, good game, good game, looking at each other's eyes, good game, and then that in that way they will just celebrate each other. Okay, so that's the first activity with the cards, the first two activities. Now we're gonna move into a, a different activity. This will be making zoo books. Uh, this changes a little if the kids are too young, then you probably wanna do the initial work on your own. You wanna make the books on your own, staple the pages, write animales del zoológico, and then have them continue from there. If they're old enough, first grade, second grade, third grade, or up, or even primer or kindergarten, if they feel comfortable already writing, then you give them the book and then have them write the title and um, the rest of the pages on their own. So. Um, how does uh, how is this book? You open it up, you write the initial letter of the animal. So coming back to the elephant, they do they draw they draw an elephant. They can do the face or the whole body, and then they do the initial letter in the corner. In this case, an E up in the corner. And then uh, once they finish, if they're old enough, they can write in the bottom elefante. Uh, and then in, they go through all of the pages until they cover all of the animals of the zoo. Now, we're going to read this book to friends. So have them find a friend and read the book, read because it's a game, right? Read it to each other. So they're going to open the page, cover the animal with their hand and have the friend only looking at the initial letter and guessing que animal es, que animal, que animal, que animal es. And then if they say elefante, you go bien, or if they don't guess it, then the friend gets to say, hey, elefante. And then go to the next page, cover the animal, and do the same. Then when this friend finishes, the other friend gets to do it to this friend. 
And then once they both done, then they get to read it to other people and find new partners. Okay, have fun. Now, there is a different way also, once the books are done and they've done that, if you wanna take it to a next level, you can have them take the book home and read the book to the family and say, and so once they read the book to the family, the family members get to sign in the back of the book their name and then have them bring the book back within a week or two weeks and then they will get to share how many people they read the book to. Some friends get like super excited and read it to friends over the phone and it's just a lot of fun. But the most important thing is that you make it fun for them to say the words, to feel comfortable, uh, with the animals in this case and to just have fun as they're learning. Okay, gracias, adios.